Hey, my loves. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I guess I did. This is what I've been up to all weekend. Uh, this is like my entry for classic makeup US giveaway. The entry is closed now, sorry. But I just had to like show you what guys what I've been up to since I've not been able to record all week. Enjoy. I hope you learned something. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment box. Welcome to my channel. So I'm going to start with drawing her brows. They're already shaped, so it's kind of easy to draw the filling. So I'm going to draw a comb her brows first. Then if you can see from um, the pencil has two hands. That's the pencil side and the spoolie side, which is like really amazing because I don't have to start looking for a spoolie up and down. So I have that. I really have to give it a classic. The pencil is in coffee, shade coffee. Then I'm going to comb the beginning of her brow just to blend that hand. You might want to fill in two thirds of your brows, but if you really have dark brows or dark eyebrows, you just fill in one third so it's not too dark. You don't like like dark brows so i'm going to highlight her brows with my concealer and i'm also going to be highlighting the upper part just to clean just make it really defined so but i'm going to blend that in later we are highlighting with my concealer brush from costa saint I'm going to apply concealer all over high lid and highs also to hide to hide the dark circles. Then I'm going to blend with my beauty blender a sponge from Classic Hostel. I already sprayed my setting spray like on the beauty blender, so it's actually to not soak in a lot of my products and also give that even application so I'm going to dab in a little bit of orange on a high lid crease then I'm going to be applying my purple shade eyeshadow my purple eyeshadow the outer corner of her eyes and blending into the orange the orange is like really light so it's like the lightest shade of orange i have on my palette sorry i didn't show you that guys that and i'm going to dab a little bit of black at the outer corner on top of the purple then blend it in with the orange i like to you can see me holding two brushes i like to like just apply slowly evenly so i don't have it all ashed out or anything so i'm going to apply that as my eyeshadow base my eyeshadow primer on a lid now that for the colors to pop you can use your concealer also but you might want to allow your concealer to like come a little bit dry or setting into this so it doesn't like swipe all over the place then where my eyeshadow base and the hot icon of my eyeshadow is meeting i'm going to dab a little bit of purple into that part just to have a, an even application then i'll be i'm going to apply glitters on the eyelid with my classic makeup usa glitter glue and baby, this little looks like really like amazing. Like there's no fallout, so you don't have your glitters like all by your lid and everything. They stay, they actually stay. So now I'm going to pack my bright pink classic glitters on the fullest part of that eyelid. And I'm going to be adding my glitter my glitters in um, 
I'm tasting. It's a dark purple shade. I'm not sure I pronounced it correctly. Into the outer corner, just to bring out that purple shade. Then I'll prime our face with the classic primer. Don't you just love the way it feels on the skin? If you've used it before, I absolutely love the way it feels on the skin. Then I'm going to use my glitter glue. Sorry, my lash glue on my lashes. You want to make sure it's a little bit dry so that it's not too tacky before you apply it. Then apply the foundation all over a face to have that even application. With I like to if you've noticed in all my videos to first apply my foundation, my foundation brush, then I can go in with my beast blender to just blend it in. You can use your foundation brush first, you can use your fingertips to apply any one that works for you. Then my classic pile palette, 9 in 1 palette, I'm going to be using that medium shade as um, the foundation part and powder part. I'm going to be using the foundation shade which is a little bit light, it's a medium shade. It's a little bit thick so it's not that easy to like blend out but I really love the look on the face so I don't actually mind. Then I'm going to set with a powder in ebony. The powder is in like six forms. You can see that I've had this palette for like forever. I guess 2009. 14 <laughs> yeah or 15 about i think it has been that long and i still have it today so <laughs> thank you classic so i'm going to highlight our nose with both ebony and pick a shade that is like two powder shade like or just sometimes i like i don't use a certain powder i just go straight and use a powder that is a little bit light then I'm going to be using dark powder, dark shade. The colors are in ebony, medium, dark, chocolate, and deep dark. So I'm going to be using that dark to contour our face, our cheeks, uh, the bridge, not the bridge of our nose, the side of the bridge of our nose. Yeah, permit me to say that. Our forehead, the sides of our forehead. Uh, our forehead, then yes the side of our nose too i want to apply the powder in dark you can use deep dark if you like a dark beauty so to contour then i'll apply powder all over our face i want to using my classic lip liner in wine and i really love the color so just to outline our lips. Then I'm going to go in with my brown pencil in coffee again to make it to even it out. I'll be using my classic lipstick and for hers in hot flame. And I absolutely love this lipstick. It's like my go-to for when it comes to wine or red. It's just amazing. Sorry, guys, I did not um, I had to cut the gilly part out. This is not a gilly tutorial, but I'll make a gilly tutorial out soon, record and upload soon. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, once again, let me know. And what do you think about the look? <sighs> Love you guys. See you next week.